Hey folks, it's Ben Capozzi with the Main Street Gardener, and I'm talking with you today about my Wolf River apple tree. So there's the hole that the uh, Wolf River apple just came out of. I put it there uh, earlier this year. I'd have to go and check the date, but it was probably um, late spring. And um, anyhow, this is the root ball. It hasn't done a lot of growth. As you can see, I'll lay it out here, right? It's really just kind of a kind of a seedling, kind of a sapling, um, tiny. But um, I got it from Burnt Ridge Nursery out on the west coast, and um, it was great. I ordered all my root stock from them. But um, I put it here in a pinch, and it wasn't really where I wanted it. Now I've got a better idea of where I want it. Uh, this part of the orchard is for late season trees. Um, so this is like the uh, November, December section over here. And it's going to go all the way down here. I've already dug the hole to this spot. So I'm going to backfill the hole and plant it here. And then it's much more in line with where it's going to go. And uh, if you think that that doesn't seem like a lot of space, being next to the wall and a cherry tree there and a bunch of other trees here in the uh, uh, apple orchard, then um, you should know that this is one of many trees that I'm going to do in a tall spindle, uh, kind of a columnar shape. So uh, we'll get this one in the ground here and I'll be right back. All right, so this Wolf River apple tree is in the ground and uh, it's supposed to uh, ripen around, or be harvested at least, between uh, September and October, so it's kind of right there on the edge. So this is the spot for it in my orchard. And uh, it originally arrived on the property in spring 2016, but uh, you've already seen, I moved it from back there over to here. And uh, I also went ahead and put a piece of bamboo in here to um, straighten it up, uh, keep it from leaning into the fence over the winter. I didn't really tamp this down too much. I just kind of packed it firmly with my hands. And uh, one other thing you should note is the graft union uh, right there where this uh, was grafted onto the rootstock. Um, I have actually you can see it right there. It looks like that's where they did it. Um, I still went ahead and pointed this to the north so that uh, it's not exposed to the sun. It's unscald. If the graft was uh, more obvious, um, as it is in some techniques, um, that'd be more of an issue like um, on some other fruit trees here in the orchard. But so this Wolf River apple is all set for uh, its long winter's nap. I'll, uh, I'll probably spread a little cornmeal down here on the ground. It'll be washed in later tonight. We're expecting a light rain. And then we won't see this tree again until spring. There's no additional training for me to do, no pruning. Uh, and I'm not going to collect scion wood off of it this year. So we'll see this tree again in the spring. Thanks for watching.